for you a surprising surprise. I am in the living lair, my son. The Henstor catalog arrived today. Ooh, the new mini sub is nice. Know the DVD player in the back seat? Father, I... Now, wait, wait. Before you speak, tell me. Have you done your chores? Clean my room or scout the target location for some evil deed? The second one. Well, I have not only located the target via satellite, but it assembled a team of henchpersons with which to steal it. Well, who has taken my lazy son and replaced him with this energetic and responsible evildoer? Tell me, what is this exciting target? The Tower of London. It is a big tower filled with jewels. Yes, the crown jewels. Very good, son. Perhaps I may keep just one jewel in quest to do that for the tower to fund my drive to become an international teen pop sensation? Oh, take two. They're small. <laughs> Gentlemen, see, but isn't the Tower of London in England? There, up ahead, our target. I can smell the diamonds and rubies now. And banners and masks, if I'm not mistaken. The encyclopedia said the jewels are kept in a building just below. <laughs> the tower and all the shiny jewels inside are ours for the night. Mysterious black choppers, initiate operation. Steal the Tower of London. Oh, this is way easy. Chopper, I thought we agreed that black would be our chopper color today. You're a little off target, Junior. Like 12,000 miles. What did she mean by that? Thanks for the lift, Mr. Huey. What do you mean? Your friend here said you could pay cash. <laughs> yeah, uh, we couldn't find a ride, so uh, I looked in the phone book. Gotta go. I owe you a favor. <laughs> You ruined my shot. But upon reflection, this. You kids are extreme with five X's. Jimmy Blamhammer, action movie maven, Hollywood, USA. How do you do, Mr. Mr. Blamhammer, sir. It is an honor to meet you. I loved Violent Reaction 1 and 3 and really loved Violent Reaction 2. Oh, yeah. Whoa, wait, wait, go back. Movie maven? I'm afraid I do not understand. Your little helicopter stunt almost blew over the set for my newest action heist flick. Stolen Goods 3. Rated PG-13 for intense action and use of the word but. So this Tower of London is a movie set? I can't use pyro on the real tower and stay on the budget, so we came to New Zealand and built this replica. It looks identical to the real thing from space. Yeah, this is true. Okay, Junior, your move. Ah, uh, everything! 
a henchman for himself! You hire him, I can do hair and makeup. I always wanted to be a stuntman. Ah, see Stu in the big trailer. Wow, that maneuver you pulled up there? No wires, no digital effects. That was pure, raw action. You are amazing. You're incredible. You're... Kim Possible. I love that name. New thought, my next international action mega blockbuster, Kim Possible 1. Well, a movie about me? Come on, it's a no-brainer. Was that a shot? You hit the tween sweet spot. Ordinary girl, extraordinary circumstances. It's what's happening now. I don't know that I'd call Kim ordinary. What about you? Me? Yeah, oh, I'm more ordinary than anyone. I, I, extraordinary, even. All right, you're in. It'll be about both of you. So we get to play ourselves? Ah, that's funny. No, really, you two will be played by the hottest stars in Hollywood. Hmm, like, uh, who? I'm thinking Heather and Quinn. The Heather and the Quinn? No way. But aren't they a little old to play us? Haven't you heard the expression, act your age? But they're 28. What did I say? They'll be acting your age, not their age. See, <laughs> it's Hollywood magic. <laughs> and the mole rat will be CGI. That way, he can talk. Hey. I'll have Heather and Quinn live with you kids for a week. Learn the way you walk, the way you talk. Really get a handle on your characters. Good? Great. Heather, as me. This is too weird. Oh, sure, you get hottie Heather. I get quiet Quinn. There's no way he could capture my Ron this. He's a mope. He's an actor, Ron. He's mopey when he plays a mopey character. I'm sure he can capture your ron -ness. It's not as easy as it looks, you know. <laughs> Toot of the horn would have sufficed. Is everyone all right? Don't worry. It's special effects. Heather, I am beyond excited to meet you. Your life is totally amazing. Kim, I'm beyond excited to meet you. Your life is totally amazing. I love what you're wearing. And I love what you're wearing. Really? Really? <gasps> that is Heather. Standing right there in Kim's driveway. Oh, yeah. Talking. Sometimes they do not for Can myself. you stand it? Hello? Anybody home? Whatever. See? Mopey. They seem nice. And you know how I feel about show folk. Oh, they're just like you or me. Except they're wealthy, beautiful, and live by no recognizable moral code. You see what I see? A celebrity moving into our house. Not any celebrity. Heather. Anything Heather touches brings big bucks online. Cha-ching. Okay, so what is it you kids do around this time of day? Well, we're just about to go to school. Fantastic. Heather, Quinn, you're going to school. Just like real people. <gasps> this will be so great. I've never done any, like, school things. I learned everything I know from onset teacher thingy people. Y you mean tutors? Yes. Um, uh, Quinn, did you go to regular school? Whatever. Is that a yes or no? Hop in, everybody. I'll drive you to school on my way out of town. Here's a release form allowing your kid to ride with me. Just sign it and fax it to the car. I got extra helmets in the back. Show folk. Junior, you are being punished. While watching the robot clean the pool, you are not to enjoy any showbiz trade papers. But, 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 Father, I, I have just read the most disturbing news. They are making a Kim Possible movie. Wonderful. We can watch it in our private screening lair. You do not understand. I was there when she was discovered. I should be in this movie. This film should be my big break. I will be cast in that picture. If this is going to work, you guys have to blend in as regular kids. My greatest acting challenge ever. Whatever. Okay, see, that's what I'm talking about. If Ron Stoppable was trying to blend in, Ron Stoppable would throw himself into it 110%. Whatever. Oh, come on, man! Run it up! Run it down. Tale of Two Cities. Important book. What do you think? Charlie Dickens. Accomplished literary fellow. Can anyone tell me about Chuck's use of the third person in the book? How about possible? Um... I had a mission in New Zealand, so I, um, I didn't get to read it, actually. Well, then that points off your grade, actually. Yes, new girl with her hand up. Yeah, I was in a made-for-TV version of A Christmas Carol, which isn't the book that you're talking about, but I think that Dickens guy was involved. He may have been, like, a producer or something. And you are? It's Heather. The Heather? Ah! We're gonna have to move on from blending in. To what? Running and hiding. Disappeared. Typical possible. A movie star comes to our school and she has to hog all the glamour for herself. 
Yeah. Last time. So, not the drama. Um, right. I hear the girls were all wild about some movie star or something. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. See? You're not just an actor, mister. You're a role model, a trendsetter. Whatever. Can you believe this guy? I will not rest until you find your inner Ron. What? Hey! Dare to care. Okay, we made it out. Here's our next move. Excuse me, but usually I decide what the next move is. Right. It's kind of a teen hero thing. Oh, you're being me. <laughs> Great. I'm thinking mall. Wow, that's what I was thinking. You sure she'll come? I just put out some new capris. Please, she's got a closet full already. Kim has periwinkle and olive. This is our newest color. Guava. I love them. Who's the girl? <sighs> you are... Kim, you know, I feel like we hardly get to hang out. Just us girls. Fine. So then what happened, Monique? Well, this boy was in my face, and I told him, quit Megan and start Megan off. Girl, I totally know what you're saying. I had this man who would not leave me alone. He was practically stalking me. Get out! I won't! If he hadn't been my husband, it would have been creepy. <laughs> Your teeth are like the totally whitest teeth I've, like, ever seen. It is so cool of you to notice. <laughs> I had this goo put on him and a purple light shine on him or whatever. No way. I so want to try that, but my mother says it's way too expensive. No way. That's what my agent said. <laughs> She's good. Yeah, little Miss Perfect. <laughs> this is it. This doesn't get you on the path to Ron Hood. Nothing will. The entire Bueno Nacho menu board is here, and it's all grande-sized. <laughs> Mm. Sorry, Rufus. The snackage is not for eating. It's for teaching. Quinn, dig in. Whatever. And? Whatever. Ow! What kind of unfeeling robot are you? <laughs> Go ahead. Whatever. Oh, no. Hey, Mr. Blair, man. Keep it close. I'm a fast eater. Senior Junior. Wait, it says here you know how to fence? This I did not know. The best thing she's quite like, Father. Still, it is a lie. That's a start on a boat to people. Oh, a trendy eatery. No doubt brimming over with dreamers and schemers and the power elite. Nothing speaks to me. What's the special? Well, well, what have we here? Special skills. Fencing. Liar. No, no, no. Careful, Junior. Whoa. Dear, have you seen the guest towels? Did you ask our guest? Yes. Heather is as baffled as I am. Show folk. <laughs> Can't trust them. Now, where's my diet soda? Told you our Heather memorabilia would sell out fast. We need more. Put me out another certificate of authenticity. This time for half a can of Heather's favorite diet soda. Cha-ching! Monique, I'm fighting off a freak out. This Heather is Kim thing is bordering on weird. Girl, it crossed the border days ago. She told me she's been using an ER toothbrush at home. Ew, thanks for that. Well, listen, the girl didn't go to a regular school, so you know she didn't cheer. That's something you can do that movie Kim definitely cannot. Yeah, for once she'll have to sit back and just watch. What? So, Heather, on behalf of the squad, I was wondering if you wanted to lead practice today. Please and thank you. But she's never cheered. Don't you read the tabs? She trains with, like, the hottest yoga instructor in L.A. She can handle it. It's no big. I know. Uh, who's there? What do you want? Mr. Jimmy. So sorry to commandeer your satellite dish, but I must speak at you. Your approach seems strange and criminal, but you've got my attention. I insist that you cast me as the villain in your new picture. To that end, I will perform my audition monologue, the emotional soliloquy from the martial arts classic, Fist of Pain. You just lost my attention. Audition over. Oh, Father, this business is so cruel. <laughs> then we must be crueler still. I am not loving this, not one bit. Go! Wrong phone. Go! Oh, the micro mini cell implanted in my brain. Go! Jimmy, I am so ready for the shoot. Beautiful, and Quinn? Whatever. Wow, he is a chameleon. The research really helped. I want you two on the next plane out of there. Whatever. Tell Quinn to cut that out. His transformation is freaking with my head. See you in a sec. Nice, everyone. Can we have a roll for a sec? I feel like a carrot stick. Hmm. Thanks, guys. Take me back. And action. 
Hello, Ron. Are you ready for the big pep rally this afternoon? Whatever. Cut, 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 cut. Did I say cut? Who cut? I am the one who said cut. What the? The grips are yelling cut now. I am no grip. I am Senor Senior Junior, and I demand you cast me as the villain in this picture. Look, we got a villain. Now we're shooting back-to-back -back sequels. Just have your agent contact... No, no, you will do this, Jimmy Blumhammer, or else... I thought it would be so fun to have Heather be me. Wrong. Well, that'd be better than having Quinn be not at all me. The whole thing of a Kim Possible movie. Holly weird, if you ask me. Well, we've done our part. Yeah, right, we're free and clear. Go, Wade. Who's up for a trip to Hollywood? I own this town. You can't threaten me, punk. I am not. I intend to threaten this. Your personal digital assistant. But all my phone numbers in there. All my lunch dates. All my dinner dates. No! <laughs> Movie Kim. Movie Ron. Stop this madman. Wait, is that our deal? Whatever. Okay. But let's make sure we are rolling on this, people. Hands <laughs> person. <laughs> Do something! Whatever. Dang it. Ah! CGI Rufus, attack! Come on, Mr. Man! Come on! What is this now I am hearing? Hurry up! Hurry up! Rufus Power! <laughs> Very entertaining. Hurry up! But isn't the mole rat usually hey. naked? Hey, hey, it's a family action picture. Enough! I want the contract, and I want it now! All right, hold your henchmen. I'll get legal on the horn. Creation. Hey, my missing algebra homework! What have we here? Stunt doubles for Heather and Quinn will now try to foil my career plans? No, I think they're the real deal. Oh, yes, you are right. Stop it! Stop. <laughs> Authentic right down to the gum and the thumb. KP. Not so fast. This good guy's win ending just doesn't work for me. Yeah. He's a natural. It's just too difficult to break into this business we call show. Farewell, Hollywood. Thanks, Kim. I know it took a lot for you to come save the day after I got all over your last nerve. No big. Look, for what it's worth, I think you'll be a great Kim. Oh, I know I will be. <laughs> But it means so much to me that you said that. Yeah, but my man Quinn here really got the method he run this down. And the award goes to him. Effie! Booyah! Okay, don't worry about it, babe. Listen up, people. We're shutting down production. What? 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 Booyah? I'm on to the next big thing. What's that? Monkey ninjas in space. Been there. Done that. My son... No, my son, father, you're blocking it. I understand you are most disappointed that your Hollywood dreams have been dashed. True, but I have bought a piece of Hollywood for myself. What is that? Half a can of Diet Cola and a guest how person used by Heather.